As it is right now, the Juvenile Justice Center project is dead in the water. The building commission planned to finance the multi-million dollar project with bonds that would have raised taxes. County commissioners say a lawsuit uncovered what they call a legal loophole that anyone who disapproves of any bond can use to kill a project. It's a great frustration. Douglas County Commissioner Claire Duda says after months of heated debate, there was calm. The Juvenile Justice Center project was approved. The deals made, the bonds set to be sold until taxpayer David Lanfear filed a lawsuit. The courts do not have time to respond in a timely fashion. We can't sign off on the papers saying there are no active lawsuits against us, and so the deal died. Duda says the board knew a lawsuit could happen, but didn't realize it could be applied to any bonds by any municipality, voter approved or not. One lawsuit filed the night before will stop us in our tracks every time, whether it has merit or not. The failed bond sale may also hurt the county's bond rating, and Duda says it will cost more to sell the bonds a second time. He's calling for change. Somehow you have to, we have to find a way to say a week ahead of time or something uh, that there are no active lawsuits. Former U.S. Representative and State Senator Brad Ashford says lawmakers could step in. It is appropriate for the unicameral to take a hard look at, at how we do these projects and if lawsuits are filed that there be specific conditions put in place so that hopefully something that will happen that what happened here won't happen again. He says this suit has knocked the wind out of the project's sales and says all the work with private funders could be lost. We're supportive of the new building and we're willing to put money in to the building, but you had funders that are also very interested in new innovative programs for youth. Now, Duda says this project had the support of the county board, city, and building commission and says this lawsuit will restart that entire bond sale process if they decide to do it at all. Now, another option is to do a lease, but Duda doesn't think that that is the most cost-effective way. Back to you. All right, Sarah, thanks.